Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music, and I'm back with another Gizmo Sunday. And today, I've kicked off my Crocs. I'm barefoot in my colorful pants. I've got Jacob Collier's Audience Choir, a uh, contact player and, you know, full contact seven free instrument for us. It's uh, made up of uh, vocal sounds called from uh, the Jacob Collier Concert Tour, it's just this big crowd choir with lots of good controls built in. It's uh, It might be useful. I, I think it might be. Let's take a look at it. Well, we've been looking at it. Here it is. And you can see Jacob in front of the crowd. He's conducting, right? So the lower mapping, you can see all these blue uh, notes are just individual tones. So I'm just going to play one at uh, full volume. I've got a volume pedal hooked up here. See the dynamics down here? Woo! So here's a full volume um, A below middle C. And the vowel sound is ah, I can have any vowel sound, you know, available to me. Ooh. E. And a nice mmm. Well, they have rather um, conveniently given us the ability to morph between those. So I could hold the note down and go from mmm to ah. I'm using my cursor to do it right now. Well, a very typical thing to do if you're in a choir is to start quiet and swell to a more open vowel, right? Pretty cool. We've got a normal collection of, uh, you know, controls down here, including timbre, and here we've got a fairly mm, open sound. And I'm going to make it a little bit more muted. You get the idea. We've got reverb and delay and a lot of good reverbs and delays, and they actually sound pretty terrific. I will maybe listen to a few. The stereo spread, I think, is nice where it is, but I actually prefer it a little wider. It sounds to me like some sort of mid-side processing. The animation is intense, isn't it? We get colors on the crowd, and over here, the world tour, we have, uh, you know, here. Apparently this... Uh, F sharp was taken from Copenhagen, and Utrecht, Stockholm, Munich, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, there are yellow keys, and the yellow keys are stomps and claps. Boom. Sorry, I should have warned you. Clap. Stomp. Clap. Buddy, you're a big man. Snaps. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love what's going on up here. Now, check this out. We've got um, on the orange keys a chords uh, designed uh, sort of, I guess, on the fly by uh, Jacob there. So there's the major chord version of it, and I'm going to blend in the minor if I can find it. There it is. Cool, right? Just a single chord. Now, that's on this control here, but it's also assignable to a continuous controller. And I've done that with a bunch of these things already just to help myself out. In fact, before we look at the um, sort of looping controls here over on the XY pad, let's go to the gear icon and look at page two. I think one of the greatest things we've got available to us is this um, tuning uh, thing, which gives us the ability to dynamically pure tune, um, including uh, sort of the natural sevenths. Now, if I play a chord here, we'll see actually this thing in action. That's an F major triad. Now, if I take tuning off, maybe you can hear a difference. I hear a difference in the fifth. Pretty, right? Well, so far we've been listening to all these ah sounds, and they're great. But if I go down to here to the vowel morphing pad, 
we've got the ability to um, click this little MIDI button here. Ordinarily, we would just control click, but they've made it easy for us. Click this mi MIDI icon and assign a controller to that XY axis. Back over here, you can see I've assigned this controller to ah and mm. And that's super cool, right? So here's a nice low uh, triad. It's going to be quite dark, starting on mm. That's a really nice gesture. I, I think that there's, a, there's something to be said for that. Well, an XY uh, pad like this is uh, only as good as um, its uh, pathway, right? And we actually have a bunch of pathways preloaded as well as the ability to record your own. Now, here's an easy one. Uh, let's loop it so it goes forward and backwards and let's turn it on. Okay, so when I play a note, it's going to cycle through these vowel sounds. Its playback speed is controlled, so if you half speed it. Pretty cool. Now, I've recorded some of my own user presets, and I think we can load a user preset here. I like this. Very slowly changing from ooh and then opening up. Sounds pretty natural. Well, of course, there are plenty of, uh, you know, choral pieces that I think of when I hear a big crowd like this. In fact, the sort of strong um, colors of a large group of people lends itself to clusters. And so I think of like those uh, um, ligety pieces like Luxaturna and Atmospheres. But I think it might be useful for uh, pop songs. Uh, you know, 10cc comes to mind. But up here, these beautiful chords like this, I could put another chord against it in my left hand and get a fairly strong sort of dissonant combinations of tones, right? So this really begins to sound to me very Luxaturna, like uh, in uh, 2001. I haven't turned the reverb on at all, so let's go ahead and do it. Um, at halfway, and um, let's choose Heavenly Reflections. Pretty. Um, there's a bunch of reverbs. Plate is nice. It's transparent. And then I'm curious about the delays, so how about this? I 
think that's tempo synced. I'm pretty sure it is. And I'm not sure there's any control over that. No, I don't believe there is. Well, I suppose I could dig out um, my seaboard rise and apply aftertouch, either poly, mono or poly, to uh, something. In fact, I think what might be nice is to apply it to timbre, right, or vowel. But my seaboard's kind of in the other room right now, but uh, what a good idea that would be. And that's my next step. Well, it's a free instrument, and I'm just super grateful for this kind of remarkable, useful tool. I don't know when the next time is I'll crack it open, but in the meantime, if I can tolerate seeing uh, Jacob's name up at the top, and I think I can, he's a total genius, as well as, um, you know, uh, just a major artist right now, uh, I think that it's going to be a fun thing to have in the arsenal. So thanks, Native Instruments. I'll, I'll take it right on. All right. I hope this has been useful. Like and subscribe and ding the bell. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.